How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, you're watching Denimal Tech. Today we're going to talk about backups. I know they're a nightmare of so, so many people. I get so many questions every single day regarding backups. People asking me the difference between the options, how to perform it. Sometimes they can't perform it. Sometimes they get a new phone or they, they, lost their, they lose their phones and they don't know how to recover that information. So I just decided to record this video to show you guys explain to you guys first what is an iPhone backup, what are the options, and then I'm going to show in action uh, what are the options and how to perform those backups, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So when you create an iPhone backup, you're creating a file containing pretty much all the information inside your iPhone right now, which means that you're creating this file that contains uh, your wallpaper, your settings, your contacts, your photos, your music, your apps, absolutely everything. And the idea of this is creating this file so that you can recover it later when, let's say, you buy a new phone, so then you can recover that information and your new phone is just is gonna look exactly like your old phone with all the information you like, just the way you want it, just the way you like it, you're used to it, okay? Or if you lose your phone, if you restore your phone, so we can recover all that information from this file and this file is called a backup, okay? That's pretty much the explanation. Now, we have three backup options, as I mentioned. The option number one is an iCloud backup. So, an iCloud backup is creating this file, okay, and putting it in the cloud, okay, and saving it in the cloud. So, you're saving this file in iCloud. So, that's why you don't need a computer, you just need your phone because you're gonna create this file and then upload to iCloud and then it's gonna be there uh, related to your Apple ID, okay? This is the most common uh, backup option. Uh, backup option number two uh, is the iCloud, I'm sorry, is the iTunes backup, okay? Instead of, instead of saving that uh, backup option to the cloud, you're gonna save this backup file, okay, to your computer. It can be a Mac, it can be a Windows, it can be a Linux, don't worry about that. And you're going to do that through iTunes, that's the software you're going to use. And the third backup option is not actually a proper backup option, okay, you, you in theory just have these two options, but the third possibility is the one I generally use, and is what I like to call a iCloud app backup, okay? So let me explain what it is. Instead of saving all your information and sending it to iCloud, which can take quite a long time, you need storage, you need time to download it, to upload it, and everything like that. It's a big file. You can just recover the information, your apps stored to the cloud. So it's, you're not gonna get uh, your wallpaper, your settings, you're not gonna get uh, those apps back or anything like that. You're just going to save the information inside those apps. Like for example, you're gonna save your contacts information, your reminders information, calendar, uh, even your photos, you can do it with that method. But it's, it's just so much faster because it's just gonna it's just gonna save it's just gonna recover the data instead of actually downloading everything from your phone to make it look the way it is. So I'm gonna explain to you guys right now the difference between those three in action, and then I'm sure you're gonna understand it much better. Okay, now it's time to show it to you. First of all, we're gonna talk about the iCloud backup, which is the most common type of backup and the easiest, if you ask me. First of all, we're gonna go to settings. Then we're going to go to, you click on your name, right there. And then we're going to click on iCloud, right here. Okay? Now, uh, all you have to do is scroll down and go to iCloud Backup, as you guys can see right there. Click. And if it is off, you can turn it on. Mine is on. And it's telling me that the last successful backup was today. Uh, so at 5.39 a.m. Okay? If you want to backup now, let's say you want to sell your phone right now or your last successful backup is pretty old you just back up now and wait okay with that by doing this you will make sure that all your information is saved on your iCloud and you're good to go okay that's pretty much it keep in mind that when you're talking about backups we need to have storage so when we are uh, backing up to your iCloud just like I showed you guys right here we need to have available storage in the cloud so in my example right here, I have 50 gigs of 200 gigs used. So I have quite a lot of storage right there. But maybe you won't have this storage. But that's subject for another video, okay? Let's go ahead and go to method number two. 
Now we're going to talk about our second backup option, which is the iTunes backup. So we will need a computer and we will need to download iTunes. Okay. All you have to do is plug your phone to your computer. Wait a couple seconds. And then your computer will recognize your iPhone. So click here. And then you will have to scroll down and you have this this section right here called backups. As you guys can see, I am automatically backing up to iCloud because uh, as you guys saw, my iCloud backup is active, so I'm using it right now. Uh, but if I wanted to change to uh, an iTunes backup, all I need to do is click here, this computer, okay, and apply. As soon as I click to apply here at the bottom, okay, it will automatically start backing up. So instead of creating that file, uh, in the cloud and using the iCloud storage is gonna back up to this computer and use the physical storage of this computer okay so that's pretty much it is exactly the same the only difference is backing up to an iCloud or backing up to this computer keep in mind that if you use this method and you back up to a computer you will need to plug your phone to the computer you perform the backup when you want to recover that information so if you buy a new phone, if you restore your phone and you're gonna and you want to recover it, you need to plug it to the exact computer. So that's one disadvantage of using this method. With the iCloud backup, you don't need to plug to anything, you just need a Wi-Fi network and you can recover your information from anywhere around the world. And now last but not least is the iCloud app backup. And let me just show you what I mean. All you have to do is go to settings, then you're gonna click on your name, same story, iCloud, and what I mean with iCloud app backup is that all these apps that have the that are on, okay, that are green, that are on, those apps are gonna have their data saved to iCloud. Okay, so I'm gonna have all my contacts, all my calendar, reminders, notes, messages, uh, my Safari information, my wallet, uh, everything that is checked here is gonna be saved to iCloud. So even books, numbers, keynotes, maps. Uh, and other third-party apps as well, okay? So all the apps that are actually turned on on this iCloud first page right here are gonna have their information saved. And the easy thing is that all you have to do is when you get a new phone or anything like that, you just put your Apple ID information and all of this data is gonna automatically start downloading, okay? This is gonna start downloading automatically. So in order to get the information from these apps, obviously you're gonna to need to manually download these apps and manually download everything you want because it's not gonna recover the apps themselves. It's just gonna recover the data. And the advantage of this method is it's much lighter, okay? Uh, it's not gonna download a ton of information. It's not gonna take a lot of your time. It's just gonna take a couple minutes and you're gonna have all this information set up perfectly, okay? Uh, and another advantage is that your iPhone is going to be brand new so you're not going to be cluttered with all those old apps and, and, and anything like that. You're going to have this feeling of a new phone. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of work putting all of this information together in a way everybody could understand. Uh, if you still have questions or anything like that or comments, please go ahead and fill the comment box down below. Also make sure to click on the like button, I would really appreciate, and also click on my face right here, which will automatically make you a subscriber. And also I'm gonna put a video right here that I'm sure you're gonna love. So that's pretty much it, see you guys next week, bye bye.